Happy birthday, Gemini. This is my gift to you. It's a solo year birthday reading. It's a quick, general, and intuitive reading. And, um, yeah, it's just a quick reading for your solo year birthday ahead. So what energy shows up, we'll look at that. Um, and you can make a wish. I will make a wish at the end. If there's any numbers, I will give you some numbers that could be significant during your solar year. And you can um, um, take that as combinations, dates, or spiritual meanings. I shuffled sage the cards I'm going to pull for each deacon, too. For the, the cards will be for all Gemini additional messages, but they're going to be more significant for each deacon and see if the wish even is more significant for each of you there, too. So we'll take a look. All right. Um, follow me on Instagram. I do post daily pick a card readings and daily birthday readings, too. And I do offer birthday readings on my website. You can find them there. So let's take a look here at Gemini. <clears throat> Solid, nice grounds. Yes, lots of spirituality. All right. There is an important message here for the solar year as a base energy of lots of reevaluations. There is a slowdown, like if your past solar year has been or year has been very busy, if it has been, you know, like just a lot of energies coming at you. This is a year where you could relax a little, um, maybe take some time off too. There is also a focus on, um, I want to say some things may continue or in continuance, a long one, um, taking some time off, Okay. Some of you may take a sabbatical, may take some uh, leave from work, um, or you're just going to be, you're needing to rest and rest a lot in between too, because there could be bouts of the year where it could be quite busy as well still. So we are seeing that this is a year of taking care of your health as well. Okay. Uh, processing um, loneliness. Why do you feel lonely when you're surrounded by lots of people or um, there's a sense of just feeling more alone and trying to be friends with yourself first? You know what I mean? There could be a, a separation from someone and you're kind of in a relationship, but at the same time, you're not quite where you want to be there. OK, I do see some of you will be dating, um, will um and attend some kind of significant event as well. So I do feel that um, energy. If you're in the entertainment business, it should be a good year for you. For some of you, it'll be, it may be a little slow down though too. So I do feel that energy. A um, lot of social gatherings that could be like people coming together that have not, that usually are not together is what I'm feeling too. Okay, some of you, I do see um, fulfilling your ambitions you are going to be dealing with people in power and authority. They're entering your life somehow for good or for bad. So I do feel that energy travel is also indicated. I do see here also a lot of social gatherings and children or significant children that, that, that are in your life, your own children that are coming into focus as well. Okay. When we're looking at approximately the first six months, timing could be different for everyone. We do see here a lot of energy. Um, I do see here, one, the overall energy to me is saying dealing with power, taking your power back, and father is coming into focus, or a father, a significant father figure in your life. Um, I do feel here, too, manifestation is high, and you could be dealing with destiny, too, and fate for some. All that you want is there within reach, too, okay? There's a question someone may have. It is a yes answer. I do see a lot of lessons well learned. You've learned a lot of lessons. New money is coming into your life somehow, an additional, too. Maybe it's a second job. Maybe it's um, a raise, promotion, or a new job. So I do see, but money addition too is coming in. Maybe you get into a relationship and then you have money from a partner. So I see that. This is um, also a time of taking back your power. I do see the energy of cancer is significant too, or someone who represents that sign or the time of cancer. Things are going to get in, uh, get under control. You're getting a lot of things in your life under control, but you are entering major big changes as well. Okay, so we are seeing that energy. 
I do see here dealing with some disappointments, okay? But you have to move forward with that. So I am seeing that energy. I do see also there could be some um, arguments with um, in matters of the heart. It's an up, it's an on again, off again type of energy that I see. Um, for some of you, maybe going into a marriage this year, and it's a happy marriage. So I do see that energy. Um, there's going to be some exciting, joyful news coming in from a loved one. And I'm seeing a new beginning and sense of rebirth is definitely showing up here too. The letter S is coming up as significant here too. Someone with the initial S is showing up, okay? Um, I do see it could be starting up the year, could have, would have, should have. There's some um, negativity. Some are dealing with loss and mourning. So I do see that energy and trying to stay positive. That is very important. I do see as above, so below. So definitely seeing that kind of energy and things starting to work out for you. I am seeing here too, um, being supported by new um, new people. This is like a crowds of people. You're in the spotlight, could be doing well with work. This is maybe your little group of buddy, buddies at work. Um, I do see that. New social group is coming into your life. Victory and success is showing up here too. I do see here you're more grounded, making some very good decisions for your future too. For some of you, you're re-evaluating um, where you're going to be investing your time, money, and energy in. A father figure definitely is showing up here for some of you too, okay? And this is reassessing childhood, um, how father affected you too. So I am seeing that kind of energy for some of you. Uh, some of you, you may re rehash a uh, legal situation, all right? I would stay in... <sighs> in the lines of the law, you know, don't draw outside the lines of the law. So I am seeing that there could be some kind of problem with authority. So be careful of that energy. Um, there could be some um, issues going on with children too, and also with siblings. The past is showing up. Someone may be returning from your past as well. So I am seeing that energy. Reminiscing a lot of the good old times. You may be um, getting into a settled relationship. Some things are settling as well. Go into the latter part of the six months here. We are seeing here um, a very shy person. Or you may be dealing with anxiety because you have to kind of step it up somehow. You could be very shy. And some of you are trying to get out of that. Um, so that's uh, I'm, sh I'm seeing here too. I see a burden that you're going to have to deal with patience here. Your endurance is going to be important, but watch out for stubbornness. There are st there's a that's kind of getting in the way. Uh, some of you may be gambling or trying to heal a gambling addiction. Um, this is like um, a chance taking some kind of a risk or a chance. Um, I do see a sure sign that fate will intervene. So you're dealing with fate and destiny. I do see here some of you may um, get a pet or if you do already have a like a dog is showing up is uh, coming into significance here too. I see better friendships here, faithful friends, loyal friends who are going to support you no matter what you do. So that is looking good. And don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it because we are seeing that energy there too. I see the letter D is significant here too. I do see that um, you may make some plans or something um, for travel or decision, and then you it may be delayed for two weeks, I don't know, or 14 days or more, 15 days maybe. I'm seeing that kind of energy. Some of you will be separating from someone or something, okay? I do see the energies of Aries and Aquarius are coming up significant here. Uh, you may be seeing who's using and taking advantage of you. They have their own um, ulterior motives. I do see also a lot of jealousy and anger here, and there is built up resentment that I do see too, okay? I do see definitely making some plans for the future and decisions, but they come with delays. Um, I do see travel for some of you. Some of you will be dealing with endings and new beginnings. There is major change here, but this is also death and rebirth. So we are seeing 
Something is um, dying, ending, and moving forward. Some significant news may be rushing in. Um, I do see that energy as well. And I'm seeing here too that, that this is fast moving energy. A lot of things could be coming at once, especially when some major change is occurring. I am seeing here too, things are ending in your life, but you're not letting go completely. Some of you will be advertising some of your um, business, um, you know, products or business. I am seeing that kind of energy. You will persevere here too, and you will kill off some kind of anxiety, something that's been really making you very anxious. You will be um, killing off, I want to say. I don't know why that word comes to my head. Some of you will be wrapping up a court um, case to a legal issue. There is something that you're going to be signing off that's going to be um, also, uh, I want to say, good for you. So this is like uh, justice in your favor somehow. So I do feel that energy. There is a lot of travel. There is a lot of, lot of uh, messages that are coming through too. This is also messages that are going to be important and I see really good news coming in. You're going to manifest quickly. Life will speed up too, but it is very positive here too. So I do like that energy. If you do um, have a business online, you should be doing very well. So I see that energy too. Many options and opportunities and you can manifest a lot, good or bad in your life. So we are seeing that coming through too, okay? Watch the health this year too. This is a year to make some healthy choices and decisions. Some numbers you can write down that are going to be significant during your solar year. Five, two, four, 17, 82, 83, 58, and zero. Somehow, some way, they will come into play. All right, your wish is going to be here. Let's see if it comes true during your solar year. So you can make your wish, and I'm going to put it in print. Let's take a look. All right, what I'm seeing here, the messages I'm seeing here too, is first of all, this is something is, it's faded for some of you, okay? There is a new beginning and there's a journey ahead, but I do see here taking maybe a chance or leap of faith. However, the general answer to this uh, wish is for during this solar year that it may not come to fruition because there is a lot of negativity involved, a vengeful trap, jealousy, or something like that is what I'm seeing for some of you. But it there is that maybe. And I'm going to look at the cards now, see for specific deacons if this wish maybe will even um, how it's going to play out more for you. It's more likely that it won't come through this year, but it probably will be in the future. But there's some negativity involved. That's why. Okay? So we are seeing that. So it's basically kind of a no. Okay? In general. All right. <sighs> All right, so if you were born, these cards are going to, like I said, for all Gemini, but if your each deacon is going to be more specific, um, the energy stronger. If you are born the first week, the first deacon, which is around May 20th, 21st through May 31st, this is mostly for you, you have the Knight of Cups and you have the Knight of uh, Pentacles. So you have two knights. These are messengers. This is um, news coming in. Um, so we are seeing that we do see, um, you know, the cup and we do see the pentacle. So this is a lot dealing with a lot of emotions, love, spirituality, and we're seeing things are still taking time and growing and even finances. You know, this is spiritually some um, that your uh, universe has your back. OK, spirit has your back. Slow and steady also wins the race here. OK. So we are seeing that that we are seeing some of you. This is like help from friends, invitations, blessings coming in slow and steady. You know, hard work and that is going to be productive for you this year, too. So we are feeling that energy there. What I do feel here, too, for some of you, if you're a creator or you're um, the artistic or music is coming into your life, pay attention to lyrics, maybe be songwriting writing songs or lyrics, but music does surround you and more positivity and positive thinking. 
All right. I do feel here steady progress um, definitely is going to help you out here towards your goals. You may have some stops in between, but you're going to reach your final destination. So I do feel that there could be a recovery of your health uh, and pros prosperity and continued good health is very much in focus here, too. So I do like that energy. You know, you're merging into pen the pentacles here, too. So we are looking at success after an emotional journey. You'll be successful in, your, in some of your endeavors here. Slow and steady is progress here. So I do pick that up too. There is a caution to slow down somehow as well. You could be dealing with a Taurus or the time of Taurus is coming up significantly for you. All right. So I do pick up that energy. Why? I pick up the letter T for you as well. Um, if your wish for your solar year, I feel for you, it's more of a no too. Okay. I feel there's like some more of a heavy baggage for this year. Okay. So I do pick that up. Okay. All right. Now, if you are born the second deacon, second week, which is your birthday should be around June 1st through June 10th. This is more for you. You have a major arcana of the sun. So that's in, very important. And then you have the five of pentacles. We kind of look at the first six months, second six months, but it doesn't matter. So the major arcana of the sun, definitely this is carefree things um, looking well, sun shining, uh, the sun shining brightly on you. This is being in the spotlight, your inner child dealing with children, beautiful energy here. Yes. But then you have, this is where you may be dealing with low self-esteem issues or money worries. So we're seeing that and there could be some financial changes. All right. But there are blessings coming up as well. So you could expect some changes is what I'm picking up here too. Okay, so definitely seeing some kind of changes here, um, maybe the second half, okay? Um, when we're looking at this here, I do feel here with the sun, for some reason, some of you may be traveling or going to a sunny spot um, during like winter season. I do see that for you. For some of you, this is a high time for you, the season of winter, for some reason I'm picking up here. What you want is before you, it's within reach, just know that. Uh, there is some divine timing here at play, too. I do feel here money may be coming uh, in, in some form or way to you, too. That's going to make you feel um, much more happier. But this is being in the spotlight as well. So I do pick up that energy. Um, it's a beautiful energy. No matter what, it is a good time. This is definitely, definitely kind of being that uh, tapping into that inner child as well. You know, you're merging into the Five of Pentacles here, so there are some financial blessings that are going to come your way. Help is around you and not feeling so much lack. But there's going to be a significant delay in something, which will be in your benefit. But you're going to go through some endings and changes. Okay, so I do feel that energy too. Um, have faith things are going to work out for you. I do feel that there is going to be some certain event that is going to occur too. That is going to be imminent. The, the results or some kind of change will be imminent. So I do pick that and uh, that uh, energy up. And there will be some endings and changes. All right. So I do feel that. Now, I do feel here also uh, watch the spending. Okay. There could be some changes with work career or people may be leaving. So I'm feeling that energy too, um, which is going to clear the way for you. The wish, your wish is more, um, I think it's possible, don't give up, but you need to count your blessings as well, okay? All right, now, if you were born the third week, the last week of Gemini Deacon, that's around being June, born June 11th through June 21st, you have a major arcana of the um, judgment, so important, and you have the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a significant female. This is a usually a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, or Scorpio may come into play. All right, so we are seeing that energy there. You have something more specific. Judgment is definitely a purging. This can indicate also um, you wanting to change something that may take, um, you may not do till later. This could be some life, something life altering as well. I do feel here, definitely there is a renewal. Maybe someone you want to reconcile with. Forgiveness is important. Redemption is important. So we are feeling that energy here. With judgment, don't assume anything. 
without knowing the facts and figures. I do feel here too that this is a time of re-evaluating things. You will get a light bulb moment, an epiphany. There's like this dawning of a new day and clarity coming your way. There may be some very important, interesting news that comes up. And I do feel this is a good time to deal with um, a good business deal or uh, something um, with finances as well. And a heavy decision that may be coming up too. Um, this is also, be, be careful of someone deliberately stirring up trouble. Okay, because they have something in their life that is not making them happy that's surrounding you. So I do pick up that energy too, okay? The Queen of Cups here, this could be a significant um, female in your life, could be dealing with a mother figure too. But I do feel here, when we do see here um, this energy, it does indicate to your intuition, your caring energy is going to be important. And this is also working on the self. Okay, delving into a lot of spirituality. There's something that you need to move forward with that you've been procrastinating. You're procrastinating something as well. But don't assume things are one way. They may turn out differently as well. So I am picking up that energy too. There is some good luck that will incite some envy and jealousy. Not, people sometimes do not like to see people succeed. Okay, so I do feel that. Be careful of confusion, all right? So I do feel that energy too. Your comforts, your com your comfort zone, um, your protection. It's like you could be overly um, protective and trying to kind of stay in your comfort zone. That This can also indicate some laziness, so be careful of that. You need more mo motivation, like I said, the procrastination, all right? So I do feel that energy too. The letter P is coming up for you. I don't know why that initial... All right, the wish for the solar year, for you, it's more of a maybe. It's a yes more too. It's more positive that I think it could come to fruition. Maybe not this year, but I do see it in the future then. So it's more of a yes to you, okay? All right, well, that was the reading, everyone. I hope you enjoy it. And happy birthday to all you Gemini out there. And I hope you have a blessed solar year ahead of beyond. And bye for now.